Uh, it's another beautiful Canadian morning, and folks, we are back in Mon Buzzle, and I do want to thank you guys for all the love and support on this series, because you guys really want to see me go rescue that car out in the junkyard, so... Oh no, I just now realized I've got to put it together by hand. So, I need to grab some of the, uh, the parts here and... Oh, no electricity. I forgot I haven't paid my... Oh no! No, there's no gas in here! Where's our gas can at? Is there gas in here? You've got to be kidding me. Well, apparently we haven't paid our bills and our electricity has been, uh, cut off, but you know what? It's fine. I think basically the parts that we have out at the, uh, junkyard right now should about be enough to get the, uh, the car out of there. Now, I don't know if it's going to be running by the end of today's episode. I think I'm still missing the transmission, which by the way, for anybody that's confused, I'm playing on a new save. It's called the junkyard save. I'll have it linked down in the description. Uh, basically the, uh, the car is in a million different pieces and it's at the junkyard, kind of how I feel like the game should have started. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's still out there right now and I've got to bring, uh, tools out there and we got to try to put that bad boy back together. By the way, if you guys are enjoying Mamba Zul, be sure to hit that thumbs up button for more junkyard save. Oh, I got to grab all the stuff in here. So we definitely need the, uh, the magnetic trays here. Oh, this one's got the big bolts. So I don't know how many bolts it's going to take to put this car together, but let's be sure to grab as many as possible. Yeah, our truck's going to be so full. This is going to be some Beverly Hillbilly stuff over here. I mean, I need to do the wood job, which a lot of people want to see me do that again. Uh, cut some trees. That way we could sell those and make some money. I don't know. We'll see what we're going to do here. Uh, but I really think it probably would be wise to head to town first and then head out to the junkyard. But yeah, we're set and ready to go. Our adventure begins today. Okay, it's time to pay some bills. I think paying the uh, the light bill is probably a good idea. I don't have to pay for gas and worry about the generator. I feel like that's just not a good thing. I need to save my money for gas for like the wood cutter. So the question is, how much is my bill? By the way, box 69, that's not... <gasps> Why is there so many envelopes in here? Also, there is a random muffler in the box. Must have ordered this. Wait. How many bills are in here? Why is this a stack? Okay, this is only 50. Okay, sign this. Okay, post box. Put it in there. Do I have my lights back? What, what's this? This, okay, that's a parts catalog. I'm not worried about that. Oh, man, I swear. I was like, somehow the save had like four or five bills racked up. It was only one. It was only 50 bucks. Hey, that is pretty good. Okay, well, that actually sets us up a little bit better than I thought it was going to. So, we still are going to go to the shop real quick, get gas, and then we should be able to head out and go get our car or attempt to fix it. Also, there's a chance I might buy a couple more minor parts at the shop. Uh, that way we can uh, maybe have enough. I really just have to get the car rolling. Like, if I can get it rolling and get it up on the... Uh, the good old trailer we should be able to drag it home and finish work on it you know one thing that i'm gonna do real quick i feel like i haven't checked enough around this area for additional parts i keep thinking that i don't even have a transmission right now which that is definitely needed can i go buy a transmission i don't think you can on drive behind the things wait a minute i thought we checked here is that you gotta be kidding me is this there's the door that's the door it's the ecu okay we i forgot about this part we definitely need it there's the transmission there's no way we don't get it running out there today uh shock and an additional shock didn't we check no it was martin's house that we checked behind yeah i was thinking to myself man they put an exhaust in the mailbox let me go ahead and go behind the rest of these buildings how did we miss that last time all right folks it is time to get to work yeah we gotta figure out how to get this thing out of here today like it's got to be a thing right all right get past the wheels uh actually we could basically drive up to it here yeah, it's like, how do you drag it out of there without it rolling? Like, even with wheels, it's going to be janky getting that vehicle out of there. But you know what? It is our goal today. It is going to be a super goal because uh, we're going to do it. Like, there's no way we don't do it. So where do we start? Do we start with the internal? Uh, I mean, every good car starts with an engine, so we can slap that into there. And when I say slap, I just kind of gently put it in there. So do that. Uh, we can throw on the intake here. 
Uh, the real tedious portion is going to be probably the suspension. You know, this might not be as bad as I thought it was going to be. Uh, let's go ahead and grow, throw the manual transmission on there. Uh, this is weird without a creeper. And uh, no, this is not the Minecraft creeper. I'm talking about the little uh, sled. Uh, which way does this go on? Yeah, I'm going to guess here. Can I slap this on? Looking for a check mark. Does it go on this way or is it the other way? Maybe it's the other way. I don't know. Let's set this right here. Oh, this is tedious. Okay, uh, let's get our bolts out. Oh, no. I just now realized uh, we have the spanner. We don't even have a good, like, wrench here. Oh. All right. So we're going to start putting some rusty bolts on here and hope that we can actually bolt everything together. Oh, this takes so much longer. Wow. You know, when you start off the game, the car is actually not in the worst shape. Like, it's not completely apart like this. So it actually wasn't that terrible, like putting it together, but this, this is awful. Okay, I've got good shocks. At least let's put on these good shocks in the front. Yeah, I'm starting to try to figure out how this is actually gonna work. Hold on, place that up into there. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the next one. So I got a couple dilemmas. Like I can't really get under the car. So how am I supposed to screw in like the transmission and the exhaust? Like that just doesn't work. Uh, so you're telling me that maybe we do have to drag this thing back and load everything up. Well, folks, I got to screw together this whole front suspension. So cue the 80s montage. Okay, so we have quite a bit screwed in here. What happens when I put the wheel on? What? What is wrong here? Why is this like this? Uh, is something set really weird with the toe? No. Like, it clearly looks like I'm missing bolts. Let's see. It should be spacer, rotor, shock. Shouldn't there be more screws in here? Like, do those not go in there? Uh-oh. Komodo might have screwed something up. I don't even know right now. Um, this is not fine, but... We're going to figure this out, folks. Okay, look at the other parts that we have. Oh, the A-arm. Okay, I was wondering why the uh, the tires weren't actually set. Wait, where's the other A-arm? Uh-oh, we didn't lose them, did we? Oh, that's a nightmare if we did. Okay, put that on there. There we go. Okay, we can resume the montage and probably the me being confused trying to find the A-arm. Okay, let's put the ECU in. We, we're, uh, we're, oh, there's bolts in here. We're in trouble right now. I'm missing an A-arm. I know I found multiple A-arms. Was there one at the shop that we could buy? I don't know if that's even a part you can buy. There we go. Got that on. Man, I feel like maybe it's right in front of me. Like, okay, let's sort through our parts. There's a potential to A-arm. Let's put parts on that I can just squeeze on real quick. There's an A-arm in front of me, is there not? Or maybe it's over there. Like, I swear I had two of them. I had all my front A-arms. Uh, but if I don't, yeah, that's going to put me up Poot Creek without a paddle here. Okay, I got to think here. Uh, we're at a bit of a standstill. Man, I don't think I can wedge this trailer back there, do I? Like, how are you supposed to get this out? To me, you have to have the car rolling. Uh, we can't drive through there, can we? I'm probably about to get my truck stuck. Hold on, if we drive this way, uh, does it fit? Uh, if it fits, I don't think I sit back here because I don't think, oh, geez. There's just no way. This thing's wider than the truck. Huh? Uh, oh. Okay, note to self, do not try to do that ever again. This episode went from going really well to going not so well. No, 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 no. no. Let me go this way. We're going to come back. I need to figure out... What is that? Oh, that's the uh, gas thingy. I gotta find another uh, front A-arm. Because, yeah, this suspension's not gonna set up unless I get that. And I'm not gonna be able to turn it and get it out of here. How do you get it out of here, though? Like, that doesn't make any bit of sense. Like, I don't have a way to screw in some of the stuff that I need to screw in. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go for it here, folks. I, I don't know what I'm doing at the moment. Uh, do we have to drive a creeper out here? So I'm going to go with the thought process that I left the AR maybe at the house. Because if I did that, we're in not as much trouble. 
Now, there is a big question of how do I get under the car in order to get some of the components on to get the thing rolling? Like, I need to be able to do the transmission and the, uh, the differential. Maybe I can do it. I'm not really sure. It's going to probably take some blind luck. But yeah, getting that car out of there is going to be a bit of a trip. Come on. A-arm, 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 A-arm. Oh, no. That's not good. Okay, so a couple things could have happened here. There's a chance maybe I didn't grab both A-arms. I'm hoping that's the case. I, I think I found the A-arm at Francis' house, which that's the brother. So maybe that's where the A-arm is. We could go by the shop. I just don't know if you could buy one at the shop. I mean, I would think that you could buy pretty much any part that you could potentially lose, but I could be completely wrong and we're up Poop Creek without a paddle here, which I'm hoping that is not the case. So Francis, do you have my other A- Oh, better put the parking brake on. Do you have my other A-arm here? Did I leave it in your well? Where's Francis? Oh, maybe he's not out yet. Did I leave it in here? Oh no, I don't see anything in here. That's bad. I don't know where it's at. I might have to go watch my footage from the last episode to see where it wound up. I mean, there's a chance it even just flew out of the car randomly. Please tell me you have an A-arm that I can buy. ABS module. Do I have... Oh, I didn't mean to buy that. I was like... Why did I think I was going to look under that? How is this something that nobody has? Can I jack this off another car? Oh, man. That is... That's not good. All right. Well, we don't have an option but to... Either search around for more parts or go out there and try to find another A-arm. But maybe there's multiple? Okay, here we are back at the garage. Uh, still without an A-arm. Um, that's not good, but you know what? We're going to have to figure out where it's at at a later time. So I could still pretty much drag this thing back. I just got to get it rolling. I might even be able to run it back. Uh, by the way, I don't think I put the brake rotors on, but you know what? I don't think you need brakes, right? Uh, so yeah, I had a bit of an idea. I was like, what if we jacked up just the back? Can we actually get to the parts that we need now? There's a chance that's a thing. All right, let's put these in real quick. You know, I might be missing something on the rear too. Uh, are those, are they struts? What is this? Uh, oh, it's a rear A-arm. Yeah, about that. I'm about to uh, say a dumb question here. Can you uh, can you drive without the control arms in the game? <laughs> can I at least get it rolling and try to get it out of here and load it up on the trailer? That's a good question. Also, why will why won't this go on? Okay, we're screwing in the seat. We're about to crank it. I think I have a lot of the internals. Okay, I want to see if I can get the thing to roll out of here. Like, if I can get it onto that trailer, we can call it rescued and we can finish the job when we get home. But there's a just huge question of, can we do that? Uh, that I do not know. Okay, that wheel is on. All right, drop that. Let's go ahead and drop it off the jack. Oh, it sets perfect, right? Oh, why is it turning? Wait, 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 why are you turning? I don't need you to turn here. Get off the jack on this side. You know, that actually kind of angled us out. It's not that bad, to be honest with you. All right, move that out the way. All right, so we're going to put some fuel in this bad boy, and let's see if she cranks. Question is, is it alive? Does the vehicle run? Uh. Oh. Whoa. Hold on, it runs. Does it turn enough to get it out of this little wedge? Um. Uh, no. Yeah, it's jammed over here. Oh, no. Why is it setting itself up against the thing here? Come on. Get yourself around. Come on. Man, I really wish we had like a dolly or something that we could roll this thing. Also, the exhaust totally wasn't on. Wait. It's rolling out a little bit. Come on. Come on, baby. Uh, which wheel is driving right now? Hold on. Is it a front wheel? I feel like the drive line. The drive line's there. And it's shifting. I mean, there's smoke pouring out the side. Oh, no. Okay, turn it off for now. I mean, we're so close to wedging it out of here. Okay, we're going to try to get this thing out of here by airing up its tire and see if I can get it to turn. Like, I get, I got to get it to turn, but it, there's, like, no drive to it right now. Which, the only thing I'm missing on the suspension is the A-arm. Uh, do you have to have both hooked up to get drive? 
Okay, we're rolling, folks. Oh, come on, baby. Uh, can we roll it? Oh, we're so close to being able to turn the thing. Oh, and can I reverse? Yeah, we've got no drive to any of the wheels right now. That's a thing, but it is turning. Ever so slowly, we're turning and angling out of here. If I can get it turned all the way, uh, and then we could just roll out. We'll be able to hook this up to the trailer, and we could officially rescue it and have a much better area to put stuff together in. If we can just get it back to the house. Want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? Whoa! Did you guys see that? I turned it! I jammed the stands under there, and it somehow worked. What the heck? Dude, we're in business. Oh, is it going to drive out a little bit? Yeah, buddy! What the... Uh-oh. Did it just jam into the... Uh-oh. I think it's official. We just broke Mon Buzzle. Um, hold on. Can this move now? Uh, what just happened? How does that even... How does that happen? So, definitely now I'm gonna have to go get the red truck towed. I have to walk back to town, call the tow truck. That way it removes it from this area. But, we got... The car unlodged? Is that what we're gonna take away from this episode? Hey, we got it out of its parking spot and it cranks. So I'm proud. We'll see you guys next time.